Okay, it's another weekend, but as you can see, I have all of the little uh, aluminum fins in place. In fact, I'll go over and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. None of them are fastened uh, down yet. They're just all cut. And this is just stuff I had um, laying around from previous jobs and things that I've done. Um, and that's why it's a couple of different colors. Some of it's painted, some of it's just plain. And um, I just got the idea from one of the videos online. I think it was a link from um, Build It Solar, which is an awesome place to go. So thank you to them. But they have all kinds of uh, different um, people have made solar panels and things. And that's where I got a lot of the ideas. So this here is very simple to make. Um, the idea is you're just um, wrapping it around the copper pipes, the half inch rises, so you can disperse as much heat um, that's collected uh, to bring it to the pipe. And how you make these is I'll just uh, make sure that it's in camera view here. Um, but you can go to their site, they'll probably do a much better job of explaining it than I'm going to. But if you see that, um, I just built that real quick. And you just, uh, you'll just um, lay a, a plain piece of this that's not, it's not actually um, bent yet. It's just flat. And cut it to the size you want. You're going to lay it on there. And you're taking a rod. In my case, I'm using a piece of real bar, which is probably not the best thing because it leaves little ridges. You really want just a nice, flat, solid steel bar. It's the same size as your riser pipes or whatever you're wrapping it around. But you're just putting it on onto the pipe prior to it being bent. And I'm just using a heavy um, sledgehammer to um, to tamp that down. And then just you're just pounding it down like that. And you end up with your curve when you're all when you're all done. It pops out. Take your rebar out. And then you're able to lay this right over your pipe in your collector. So that's that. Um, I'll have to go back and um, take all those out because they're just laying in there now that I have enough. And I will um, run a bead of silicone on the pipe as recommended from the sites and things that I've seen to make sure you have a good contact and then fasten them all down so they're good and tight. And then I can uh, spray paint that um, whole collector, the flat black. And I have one other thing I'm going to show you here. Let me just shut the video off and I'll move it so uh, we don't shake it all around.